Hello everybody, welcome back to Heart Breathings. So I'm gonna be doing this video just a little bit differently, trying a different type of angle here. So I am gonna show you the inside of my Molly Ollie diaper caddy, which I'm using as a planner caddy. So this is an idea that I got from Julie's plans and I'm gonna link her YouTube channel below and I'll link her video if you wanna see another way of setting this up. So I totally credit her with this exact one. I have a different diaper caddy for my actual diapers that I'm using for my nine month old and I like this one even better. So I'm using it for a planner caddy but it has a good amount of structure to it so it's not the type of diaper caddy that's just gonna fall apart and that's one of the reasons I like this one. It also has a ton of pockets and things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start with one of the sides and I'm gonna take you all the way around and then I'll show you what I have inside. But I was using one of those Michaels planner carts. So you guys have all seen the little rolling carts, the Rascog carts from Ikea. Target has some, Mark, Michaels has some. I have a couple of them and I was using that for a lot of my planner supplies like in the living room and things like that. But what I love about using this type of caddy is it's much more portable. Now I have it packed up so it's pretty heavy, but it's been holding up really well, like the straps. I don't feel like it's gonna fall apart or anything like that. And I love that I can carry this up and down the stairs in my home. So I can easily bring this down onto the couch and put this in what my husband lovingly calls my planner nest. <laughs> or I can actually take this upstairs, put it into where I do my morning and evening routines. I could put it on my desk upstairs when I'm gaming. I could also bring this up to the bedroom and put it on my side table if I'm planning to journal or do some planning in that area of the house. So that's one of the things I love about it. It's just more portable than a rolling cart. Even though you can roll a cart from room to room, you can't really take it upstairs as easily. So I just added a little planner charm here. This is from Posh Pieces by Melissa and it just kind of adds to the overall look of this one. But over here on the side, there are three pockets and then it's got the little Molly Ollie here. This is a very like nice gray felt, but it doesn't feel scratchy if you know what I mean. It's a nice felt. So the first thing I have here are these three Erin Condren uh, kind of choose your own pins. And this is kind of a somewhat newer item. The reason I have three, so two came in a pack with a bunch of different tips that you could put on it. And one of them came in the spring surprise box. So I do have three different pin bodies and a lot of different choices. And right now I do actually have this one kind of loaded with the same thing. So I need to go look through my stash and see what else I wanna put on that. But you can actually just undo this and put like a highlighter here instead or a different type of pen. So if you haven't seen these, basically it's just a pen body that comes with a bunch of different inserts and you can create your own pen out of markers, felt tip markers and highlighters. So pretty cool thing there from Erin Condren so you don't have to carry as much but you have more variety. I have also put in here this little Zig memory system um, th two way glue. So you just squeeze and roll. So you squeeze this part here and then you roll this little roller ball onto the edge of a picture or anything like that. And it's a nice glue that tends to stick pretty well. So I use that in my memory keeping stuff. Then I also have just a few of my favorite mild liners. So these are also dual tipped. So you've got a highlighter on one end and you've got kind of a bullet marker on the other end. And I love to use these in my planners. So I've got a lot more colors than this and they make, I think 24 different colors, but this is sort of my favorite group of colors. Then over here in this final pocket, I have some of the well-kept wipes from Erin Condren. These are just for cleaning off your glasses or your screens. And I find these to be really wet. There's 15 in here, but I tend to put them back in and reuse them because there's a lot of like stuff on them so, for lack of a better word. Then I also have some sticky notes that I got in the Mrs. Brumble's box for the Christmas stuff. And I also just have some Simply Gilded sticky notes here just for whenever I need to use an extra sticky note and they fit really nicely into that pocket. So I'm gonna actually turn it this way first. So on this next section here, I have some Stapler Lumo colors. 
So these are non-permanent markers and they write on washi tape. So if you've been looking for something to write on washi tape, I have a couple of options here for you that I'll go through. And one of them is these Staedtler Lumo Colors. They come in a nice little case like some of the other Staedtler stuff does. So you can hold them like that. Oh, you can't see that. So you can kind of put them like this and then grab what you want. And they write on washi tape, but they also write on like laminated surfaces. They're sort of like a wet erase marker. So I do enjoy these a lot. Then I also have this little Simply Gilded pen pouch that I have four of my favorite brush pens in here. So I don't know the name of this one per se, but it's the Pilot Brush Pen. And this one is a small tip that's kind of a, hard, a harder tip, but it is a brush pen. This is a Pilot one. Then I also have the traditional Tombow Fudenosuke one that a lot of people use. And then I have this one, which is another Pilot dual tipped brush pen. And you can see here, it's got that same kind of smaller tip. And then on the other side, it's a much larger brush pen tip. Now, I am terrible at brush pen lettering, but I do want to learn more. I also have the black Sharpie brush pen, which is a longer brush pen and a little bit softer. So I wanna learn more. For the most part, what I use these for is for like leaving um, drop shadows on some of my stuff rather than beautiful hand lettering, <laughs> just because I'm not great at it. So. Oh well, I'll continue to get better. I also just have this little clip I got here from Amazon that is a little selfie light. And sometimes when I'm taking photos of my planner spreads or anything like that, I'll just flip this on. It has three different brightnesses and I'll be able to kind of illuminate my photo a little bit more so that I can then post it to social media. So I keep that clipped on here as well. So turning to the next little section here, I do have, I forgot to mention, I have these on both sides, but I have these little clips here that are just, I don't know what you call these embroidery rings or something like that. I can link to them down below. I got mine on Amazon and you can see one of the main problems I'm having is that some of my washi tape on the ends is kind of coming off, but it's just like a little embroidery ring that comes apart like this. You can get a huge pack, like 10 pack or so for just a few bucks on Amazon, and then you can attach it to your planner. So that way I don't have to have my entire washi collection. I can just use, you know, whatever washies I'm, I tend to like pull out five or 10 that I use every month, and then I'll switch them out according to the look of my planner. So I keep those on the sides here so that it doesn't take up any space in the middle. I also just have this little, velcro felt planner charm kind of thing. I don't know what you call it. This is from a local shop here in Charleston, but she also has an Etsy shop. It's called Dragonfly and Acorn. I've talked about her before. It's amazing. And it looks so cute on this little planner caddy. I mean, it just like brightens up the whole thing. So I'll link to her shop down below as well. Then in the three different pockets here. I just have more. This is pretty much all Erin Condren stuff here. So these are the Erin Condren dual tip markers. They have a medium size marker tip on one side and then more of like a plastic small nib on the other side. So this again is only a portion of the colors that they make, but they are so pretty on the outside and I love to use these in my planner. They're pretty much my favorite markers to use in my planner or anytime I'm like journaling to bring color out to stuff. Erin Condren also somewhat recently came out with brush pens. So I have these, it's also a dual tip. So this one is very soft, I think. And I think actually, I've heard some people say they think it's harder to use these, but I've found it easier to make my writing look pretty with these. Plus you can just use both tips for drop shadows and making pretty lines or pretty colors in your planner and they come in lots of different colors here as well so this i think is a full pack of them so i've got another black brush one here purple green teal orange and red so i've got all of those markers then i also do have whoops <laughs> i also do have an erin condren mechanical pencil here as well that has a little eraser tip at the top 
I don't use pencils a ton in my planning, but every once in a while, if I'm trying to like sketch something out and I just want to see how it's going to look, I'll do it in pencil first. Then just as part of the flare, I got this from the warehouse sale. This came with like the little teacher's flare set. This is a little pair of glasses. Okay, moving on to the final piece. So this side is a zipper pocket and it does have two zippers. So it zips all the way open like this. So you could fit quite a bit more in here than what I've got, but I only just have a few little things. I also put some more flare here on the end. Of course, you know, I have to have some Hello Kitty. This is the little Simply Gilded Juniper Rabbit and some more of the Erin Condren ones and then a Choco Cat. Then inside this little section, I just have a few little tools. So I've got my chapstick, a pair of scissors that I got from Amazon. These are from EK Tools and they have a little cover. And one of the main reasons I wanted ones that were small with a cover instead of putting some out here, I wanted some that would specifically fit here is because my little Evie is nine months old. And so if I'm playing with this on the couch, she has a tendency to go in and get it. So if I were to accidentally leave this side pocket open, even if she pulled this out, hopefully she wouldn't be able to easily get this off before I would see her. But I do try if she's around me to keep this zipped up so that she doesn't see it. So then I also have some Scotch double-sided adhesive roller. It has this little stars pattern fits nicely in those little loops. Then I have some Gubi glue stick from Target because sometimes I prefer to use a glue stick. And then I just have this small whiteout mini from Bic. And I find that those all fit pretty nicely inside this little pocket here. On the edge of the felt, I have various clips like this. Some of them are the smaller ones. I have a few of the medium size and then just a couple of these really large gold ones. And this is, of course, anytime I need to hold planner pages back or hold some notes together or anything like that, I can use that. So that is basically what's all around my planner caddy, which is actually a lot of stuff, I think. Now we're going to take a look inside the actual planner caddy and I'll show you what I have in here. So I apologize if that's not the best angle, but it might be the best I can do with this particular thing. So on this end, I have one of my Erin Condren planners. Obviously I can't fit everything I use to plan in this little section here, but you can hopefully kind of see, let me lift this up. So you can hopefully kind of see the structure of the bag. You've got one big section here where you can fit longer things or wider things. And then you have these two smaller sections here, but this is put together with some Velcro. So you could take that out and just have one long thing, but I do appreciate the structure of it that you've got three main compartments there and it is lined with this blue, um, like wipeable surface, which is nice that it doesn't have the felt inside. So this is an 18 month planner and this is what I call my sort of baby memories planner. And I've got basically some of the memories from Evie's first year of her life in here. I am behind on this planner. So I'm just slowly kind of making my way through the memories. And this is part of why I need to have all of those adhesives and the stickers and everything else is because I am using it to put photos in. So give you a good idea of this. I'm like I said, I'm a few months behind. So I'm trying slowly when I'm like watching TV in my so called planner nest to catch up on this planner because I would love for this to be a memory planner that she can someday look back on. The next thing I have here are a couple of sticker books. I got these, I've covered these before, but I got these on Amazon and I will link them down below. Since then, Erin Condren has actually come out with their own sticker books that fit their stickers better. But I got this idea from Jen Ross at Pretty Neat Living and went ahead and purchased these because you get a two pack and I haven't even used all of the little places, but I've got all of my Erin Condren sticker kits from various planning stores here that I'm using in that memory planner. So you can see lots of that. Then a lot of this is not used so I can fit even more stickers in. I have some plan to plan stickers here that are just kind of some basics. And that is basically what I have in this first one. In the second one, 
you can see I've taken apart an actual sticker book and they've, like I said, Erin Condren since then has changed the dimensions of their sticker books and they've made them smaller. So it's not gonna fit as perfectly as it once did. So you might be better off now if you're just buying the new sticker books to just buy them from the Erin Condren website, buy their sticker book cover but if you have the old sticker books they'll fit into here just about perfectly so this is one of the old covers from the sticker books and then i have a ton of erin condren stickers to use up and i found before that i wasn't really using my erin condren stickers very much so that's one of the reasons that i put them in here and i have been using them more and have had to kind of switch out some but i still want to continue using them more so that's two sticker books here I got this at Target like a couple weeks ago and these are just silly but they're really cute just coloring stickers so my son likes to color these in so he can put them in my planner for me so we have all of these little stickers and you can use markers on them this is colored pencil and then you can just put them in your planner as colored but I like doing it because then it allows my son to color some and he can stick them in my planner then this is a new addition to my little thing here. I haven't even taken the price tag off because I'm still going to be setting this up. But if you watched my Kiki K haul and my notebook challenge for the month of June, I am going to be using this leather Kiki K notebook holder to hold this Editor's 365 Stalogy notebook that I used partially in 2018 and 2019 that I didn't finish up. And I'm gonna start using this for morning pages. So I'm definitely gonna be using this entire planner caddy for part of my morning routine and this fits perfectly into there. Another part of my morning routine is this A6 Hobonichi the cover is just a clear cover and I put this little Donatella sticker on it and I have a little simply gilded like pencil board in the back that makes it kind of blinged out a little bit and this is just a 2020 um, Hobonichi A6 and I use this as part of my morning pages not morning pages but morning routine and it's really just something I fill out very quickly and I didn't use it like I planned for the beginning half of the year but I'm hoping to use it religiously for morning routine for the second half of the year so that fits all in here really nicely so I'm just going to put it back to kind of show you how it all fits together so you can see how almost perfectly this planner fits right there it's like wall to wall, perfect. Then I use the next to section for the planner books, the sticker books. So the sticker books also go pretty close, but there is a little bit of space here. Then I've got the coloring stickers and there's just enough room there for the Kiki K. Then there's enough room to slide in just a little bit here on the side, this A6 Hobonichi. It does make it a little bit heavy, but I'm so excited that it all fits so nicely in here. Now I'm gonna take you quickly through what's in the rest of this section here. So this section here also holds a lot of stickers and then just some other tools. So I'll pull it out as we go. And again, I apologize that the angle isn't perfect, but hopefully you still see. So this is a new purchase to me because I had another hole punch or another corner punch that just was, not punching the way I want. I have since learned that if you want to make yours sharp again, you can actually punch a bunch of aluminum foil. So I am gonna try that with my older one, but I really liked this one and I was able to get it half off at Michael's because it has three different types of corners. So it's got like a really rounded 10 millimeter, a four millimeter and a seven millimeter. So some are a little bit more square rounded or round, really rounded and it just takes a single punch. So you just put it in there. So I use this every single month when I'm setting up my new planner for the month because I like to round the corners. Then I also have just a single hole punch. This is an old one that I got at Staples a really long time ago. Then down deeper in this front pocket, I have this little donut also from Staples that has a bunch of paper clips in it just in case I need to use that in my planner. Then I have a little sticker ring from Stick With Me Shop. And a lot of these are used, but I still do have quite a few left. So I've got those down in there. And then when we went to Ikea sometime last fall, shortly after Evie was born, I bought this little 
page flag sticky note bundle. So I've got that stuck in there because a lot of times if I'm pre-planning or especially with the memory keeping, I will use these little sticky notes to kind of pre-plan where things are gonna go. So that was all down here in the front. Then I have just a bunch of sticker books. A lot of these are Michael's sticker books, which are nice and thin that you can fit. So I have this one that's called Backyard Table. A lot of these you can't get anymore because they were just available at the time. So this one's called Enchanting. This one is called Tropical Life. And there's so many more. So I found that because I was using so many of my Happy Planner sticker books, I wasn't using these that I had purchased. So they're here and they're out so that I will remember to use them. These are also a Michaels buy and I didn't even get the tags off altogether, but these are actually like wedding album, photo albums, but they're the perfect size to fit a lot of my other stickers in. So I've got a mixture of like Mochi Kichi, Coffee Monsters Co., some of the ones that I've like done print and cut from Etsy and just various other sticker shops like Lavin Forest and Echo Hui Craft Co., some wonton in a million and so on so i've got tons of stickers that i use in my weekly planning are also here some of them i keep in my actual um, a5 binder but i use more than just those so i've got them arranged according to theme and even though i would rather have a different type of sticker book because I don't necessarily love the colors or the design of these wedding ones but these I got for a dollar at Michael's and they work well so they're fine <laughs> I just would prefer not to have like wedding ones it would be cuter to have like planning themed ones but you know you work with what you can find at the time so that whole section is really dedicated to stickers and it all fits so nicely in here so the final section of the craft caddy is this little square here or rectangle i have a little paper pad this is also from michael's that i can punch from or i can cut from and use in various ways in my planning then i also have kind of created my own structure inside so i have a pin cup that's round and then i also have a square pin cup that fit here to hold various things and then on the sides here i have a couple of like markers still in their set so these are the mojini line just fits from zebra and the whole purpose of these if you can see here is that they don't smear on like gel pen and so forth they're specifically non-smear so i'm going to try these in my hobonichi and my planning and i i've had these for a little while and they worked great but i want to test them again because it's been a while since i used them but i do remember that they don't smear at all so i'm hoping i can use these over pen without worrying about the smearing I also have a set of the fine tip wet erase markers from Erin Condren to use in the planner. And then the other thing I had kind of tucked away in there is a 50 sheet pack of Polaroid paper for my little Polaroid zip printer. Then inside the cup here, I have two sets of pins. So you guys have seen these before if you've been following me. These are the Zig Clean Color Dot. They have a little dot on the end and then just like a fine tipped marker on the other side. And I love using these dots when I'm creating lists and things in my planner so that I don't have to use stickers. I can just create like a little checklist. Then the other thing that I have in here is a set of Sharpie Ultra Fine Point markers in all basically all the colors. So I like to use these kind of interchangeably with the wet erase markers. And this is something I've recently added to my collection because you can use Sharpies to write on washi tape, but you can also use Sharpies to write on the Erin Condren covers and the little snap-in dashboards, and it won't wipe off unless you use like alcohol to wipe them off. So it stays better than other things. Then in the second pencil cup, I have more like utility type items. So one <laughs> is this little squishy Hello Kitty. It's for stress relief. I like to just, if I'm watching TV or playing with my planner, I like to just play with her sometimes. It's, you know, just a good little squishy stress reliever. I have just a couple of other of my favorite pens. So I have, of course, a Pilot Precise V5 retractable, which are my favorite pens of all time. I also have this Simply Gilded pen that has a gel pen that's black. And then I have this really cute Villa Beautiful pen that is a watermelon 
and it's also just a black gel pen. So can never have enough jack black gel pens. Then I have this slice tool here, which has kind of a plastic slicer on it so that you can, you don't really, you can't really hurt yourself the way you can with an X-Acto knife, but you can easily cut washi tape and stickers that you need to cut in your planner. Um, no planner caddy would be complete without a ruler. This is actually like a stencil. I don't know how well that's probably showing up, but this is like an ABCD stencil with some little icons that I don't really use all the time. I never use the ABCD, but sometimes I do use these icons in my planning. But the main thing is to have a straight edge and a ruler here on the side. So I've got that tucked away in the front. Another thing is some um, uh, 0.7 pencil lead in case I need it. And then I have a ton of Erin Condren snap-in bookmarks because I'm going to be using these. I've just recently added this to the planner caddy because I'm going to be using these not only to mark which weeks that I'm on in here because sometimes I'm working on multiple weeks at a time like the current week as well as going back planning but also as I'm working on my get ahead plan if you want to see more info on that I've got that um, linked for you down below. I'm going to be using a lot of these <laughs> to mark various pages so I've got those in there as well as several different sizes of the coil clip connectors. So hopefully you can see that, but you just pull this part off and then you can pull the sticky off and you can put anything basically into your planner. So for example, I could pull a pretty sheet out of here stick it onto the back of one of these sheets and now it has a coil clip that will clip into this Erin Condren coil. I could put images in my planner that way or what I'm going to be using it for in my get ahead plan and in my Franken planner which I'm about to set up and I will be recording that as well and it will go up on my channel soon is a color code and an ideal weekly schedule will go into there. So that's part of why I have those in various sizes. I have just a couple of the my preferred size of sticky note if you have been watching my channel these are the infamous off-brand <laughs> purple sticky notes that I tried to use on my Kanban board this month so since that didn't work out I will use them in other ways and then the final thing that I have right here is just a spray bottle full of water that I can use to get the wet erase markers off. If I decide to use the Sharpies more often though, I will fill this up with alcohol to make it better and then I will get some kind of cloth to kind of stick down into the side here. Then finally I just have this teeny tiny little stapler in case I need to staple some things together and I just have it kind of sitting there on the edge. Thank you guys so much for watching this planner caddy setup. I hope that this provided a bit of a break for you on this Sunday afternoon or whenever you happen to be watching this video. I have linked as many of these products down below, but I think this is a great way to not only create a portable planning solution, but if you don't have a lot of extra space in your house or you're constantly having to put your things away, this is such a great solution. So thank you to Julie at Julie's Plans for giving me this idea. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I would love to have you subscribe and I will see you guys soon, actually tomorrow with a look at the new Erin Condren monthly planner. So I hope you'll subscribe and come back to see that tomorrow. My HB90 bootcamp is also now open for enrollment and we will start in exactly one week from today. So I would love to have you come join us for this round and you can find more information about that below. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Love to you and I'll see you in my next video.